Still 14 months away, but already the city of Newport is building excitement for the return of the Volvo Ocean Race. The international sailing event means big business for the city by the sea. In 2015, the race brought more than 130,000 visitors to Newport and generated more than $47 million. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is in studio now with details on the race's return new at 6. Steve? Well, Shannon, Mike, today we learned some brown grads will be in the race again. The Volvo Ocean Race returns May 2018, and for the second time, Newport will be the only North American stopover during the Round the World competition that kicks off in Spain this October. And this morning, hundreds packed Newport's Bell Mayor for a news conference, a pep rally hosted by Sail Newport. And there they made quite a few announcements about the race. Vestas Wind, led by Americans Charlie Enright and Mark Tal, who are Brown University grads and had their first Volvo Ocean Race experience in 2015. We learned they're going to participate again in partnership with 11th Hour Racing out of Denmark. In addition to the excitement, the return of the event brings to the city's sailing community. community it's expected to bring a big boost to the city of Newport and Rhode Island as a whole. Tourism, marine industry, hotel industry, food and beverage industry were all winners. From Providence all the way through South County, Newport County, and Kent County. Tens of millions of dollars in advertising value equivalency were realized due to the global coverage of the stopover in Newport. The Volvo Ocean Race, it kicks off October 22nd, again from Spain. It races 45,000 nautical miles around the world and stops in 12 cities, which of course includes Newport. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.